Good Tuesday evening, Southeast Texas. Looks like a warm, humid scenario to persist at least through the end of the week. We may get a little break coming up this weekend. Unfortunately, allergy sufferers are not. Ragweed persists at high levels across Southeast Texas. In the tropics, we're watching Epsilon. It is strengthening with winds of 65 miles an hour. It's a write off for us, not coming in the Gulf of Mexico. May brush by um, Bermuda as it becomes a hurricane and then goes out to sea. Also, we're watching a climatologically favored area in the uh, Western Caribbean, trough of low pressure there. Uh, very low chance this is going to develop. Regardless, we'll keep tabs on it right now. Certainly not an issue for the Gulf in the next five days. Tonight, could see some patchy fog across the area. Uh, temperatures will likely drop down into the mid 60s in the lakes and into the mid to upper 60s in the triangle. That's roughly about 5 to 10 degrees above normal. Fog will be likely thicker over towards uh, Houston coming up tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow looks like a very balmy day across southeast Texas with air conditioning weather persisting. High temperatures likely to be once again in the mid 80s under partly, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. No rain expected tomorrow. In the upper levels of the atmosphere, we're at the jet stream level. Here comes the next trough of low pressure. That'll drag a very weak front through the area coming up Friday night into Saturday. We may get a few degrees shaved off coming up this weekend and a little reduction in humidity levels, but don't hold your breath because it's not going to last long. A little bit of uncertainty on that long range modeling now. Will the front come through on Monday? Right now, this says no, and it may take its sweet time getting here. North Texas may see the cool air, but it's uncertain on when it'll exactly move into uh, our part of the world, and it may take a few more days. It may be towards the latter part of next week before we start seeing any reduction in uh, temperatures. On the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 3 feet in your coastal marine forecast tomorrow. An easterly wind at 10 to 15 knots is expected tonight. Some patchy fog and low clouding is possible, otherwise warm and humid. Normal low temperatures this time of year are 59 degrees, so we're going to be a good 5 degrees above that up in the lakes area to almost 10 degrees above that uh, in the triangle. Then tomorrow, high temperatures will be in the mid 80s. Normally, we'd see about 80 this time of year with southeasterly winds continuing to pump in Gulf moisture, and that may lead to a few showers coming up Thursday and Friday. Green bar day is expected. Friday night, that cold front comes through. Again, it's weak. As you can see, not much of a reduction in temperatures. Maybe a better reduction in humidity levels, but the weekend looks mainly dry. And if I've learned anything over 25 years, when in doubt, go warmer. And that's what I'm going to do. Cover it up Monday and Tuesday. I don't think the front's going to be here until possibly the middle, the latter part of next week, if at all. May stay north of our area. We'll see how things pan out tomorrow. But right now, I'm going to keep us warm and humid through early next week. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.